Hey guys, this is Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. So, I have freshly washed locks and a bare face with just some skincare on it. So, I thought, you know what, let's play in a couple items that are new to me. Some are new and some are just new to me. I have the new Fenty Beauty foundation. I already have a review, but I'm just we're trying it out again. And then we have the Supreme Nudes by Artist Couture. So everybody's been giving rave reviews about this palette. So I just wanted to really do like a get ready with me um, to go absolutely nowhere because the Rona is outside. <laughs> but um, yeah, so really it's just a get ready with me. Just saying like some things that I am really just grateful for, even though 2020 has been pretty much disastrous. Like, was it all bad? It wasn't all bad, if you really think about it. It was bad, but it could always be worse. So this is like attitude is gratitude video, you know? some positive things reflecting on the positive parts of 2020 but I guess before we get started if you are new here welcome to my channel and if you're oldie but goodie welcome on back my name is Ashley I have a doctorate in pharmacy and I love makeup and that's how you get Dr. Ash and her makeup so please just call me Ash or Ashley and like I said let's go ahead and get ready to go nowhere <laughs> so if you're watching this right now, congratulations to you. You have survived 2020, or at least I will hope you have survived 2020. And right now I'm just taking my Goof Proof uh, Brow Pencil, shade 3.75. You guys already know the deal. Holy Grail Pencil. And I need to get my brows done, but you know. Um, the person I see, she does them on the weekend because it's not her primary job she does a really good job so I can't get an appointment and so I think the second week in January but it'll be fine it will be fine but you know I just thought that like I mentioned before I say some reflections like I've had some really not so great things happen to me in 2020 but I would say that the last part of 2020 has been okay it's not what I want it to be of course you know, um, we're coming to the end of the year and you're just thinking like, oh my gosh, like it's just been so much, so much craziness has gone on this year. Um, I know personally, I just feel blessed that I have come out, well, of this part of the pandemic, okay, because clearly it's still going on and I don't really expect it to let up until, um summer of next year you know but it's just it's just been really crazy you know everything that happened like prior to March I'm just like that happened this year like it's been it's one thing after another like you know we were like oh I remember New Year's Eve last year we we're like oh my god it's gonna be so fun so much great things are gonna happen to us in 2020, we're going to experience new milestones. And, you know, a lot of people did. I do have some friends that bought houses, bought new cars, and that's been awesome. So it just shows you, like, you have to keep your faith in God. You have to, you know, just really pray about things. And then some really awful things have happened. Like, so many people have died from this virus. It's just been insane. Um... I'm, I, I don't know if you guys know, I've mentioned it a couple times. I'm kind of really into politics. And I just feel like if you haven't learned by now, like elections have consequences. And the election of 2016 when Donald Trump got elected, like, like man, we are paying for those decisions. Those decisions of not coming out to vote. I mean, just we are paying. I think my brows look okay I might need to thicken this one it'll be fine we'll, we'll figure it out okay <laughs> Urban Decay Primer Potion Shea Caffeine as usual but I mean it's just like we are really just paying for these consequences and so as I reflect on like my set of misfortunes that I had this year I mean in the grand scheme of things and what some other people are going through 
it's really not that bad. You know, and I have to keep respect to so many people have lost their livelihood this year. So many people have lost their loved ones this year. So many people have lost their loved ones due to non-COVID related illnesses, but they couldn't even celebrate them the way they wanted to because of all that's going on with the virus and couldn't have a proper memorial service, like how they wanted to send their family members out in law and, you know, and I know just like in the African American community, like homegoings are really, you know, sacred to families, you know? So, so many people are out of work. So many people are about to get evicted, hopefully, unless Congress well, not even Congress, if they can get a bill passed or if the little orange man will decide to sign it. So, I mean, I, when I think about things like that, I'm like, it's been an insane year for sure. But I have really been blessed. I've been fortunate. I have a job that has provided well for me. I have not skipped a beat. Yes, my job has been very intense this year because... Of being a pharmacist it's been intense because of the looting that happened after the uh, murder of George Floyd I mean it's it's just been one to be honest so okay just a pause from the conversation I picked up the supreme nudes by artist couture palette oh my gosh okay so this is my first time taking out the box this is what the unicarton looks like right here I want to say this palette retail for about maybe $40. Um, I had had my eye on it, so we're going to kind of call this like my wish list palette. Okay, so it's bulk made in the USA and assembled in the Dominican Republic. And it's cruelty-free and vegan-free. I am mean, cruelty-free and vegan. What's the vegan-free? And it's a 12-month shelf life. And all the ingredients are in the back. I mean, I'm sure you guys are not new to seeing this palette, but this palette has so many great regrets. I actually like the packaging. It's like flat, but a little raised right here. So you can see nice storage, hard plastic, you know, then let's see, you have the mirror right here. I, it does have like, let's see, a little uh, tab. All right. So I peeled the little tab off. Oh, that's a nice mirror. Um, and I like how you can still see Artist Couture at the bottom. So these are the beautiful shades. It's just a neutral palette. So I thought I would try it out. A lot of people have been raving about just a great, how great it is. And, you know, it was just one of those palettes, like it's in and out of stock all the time. So I really wanted to try it. I'll just link my products down below. You guys know, regular brushes as usual. Number 16, and I'm just going to take the shade Transcend. So, like, okay, my mishaps this year. So, really it all evolves my house. And it's really just upset me to the point of just... Okay, so my house flooded twice within 90 days, y'all. And when I say flooded, it was flooded. This has great pigmentation. Golly, I mean... Hmm, okay, okay, Angel, okay, Mac Daddy. <laughs> but so my house flooded in May and I ended up having to stay with my mom because my house was flooded. We had like all this rain. It rained all day long and my house flooded via the sewer line. <laughs> so I had sewer water in my house. Not fun times. Not fun times at all. Okay. So, um, you know, I wasn't super upset when that happened it happened before when I first moved in and that's such a long story that we'll just get into maybe another day but the bottom line is the city of Chicago is responsible okay so um because the sewer was totally collapsed the, the first time it happened so this time like I guess the sewer was just full or whatever you know, sometimes with these older cities, you have all this construction and new construction coming in. And, like, the older infrastructure just cannot handle what's going on. Bottom line, I'm really liking the shadow. Dang, okay. So, um, 
I think it would have been okay, but it, we got so much rain very quickly within like a 45 minute time window, but it'd been raining all day long. And if it wasn't raining like all day long, I think it just would have been, you know, better. But so I was just okay. I was just like, oh, it is what it is. You know, I'm not going to trip. I ended up having to stay with my mother because like sewage got all behind the furnace and the hot water heater. So they had to take that out. They had to, you know, undo the drywall in the back end of the house. And it didn't happen in my bedroom, but it happened in my second bedroom. But it was just a disaster area. Like my furnace was sitting in the hallway. So then, you know, I'm getting everything repaired. Um, 202 BK brush. I'm going to go in with aesthetic. And then, you know, the murder of George Floyd happened. So then we were kind of interrupted by some of the, um, the rioting. The shipment is slow because of COVID. Trying to get stuff done. You know, people are working at home from the city. So I get everything fixed for literally 89 days after it happened. For it to happen again so now I'm just sad as hell <laughs> like it's just no way around it I you know I'm usually a very positive person but I just could not shake it I couldn't put on that's pretty but it definitely made it deeper I just couldn't put on the front that everything was okay because to me it just wasn't so I just, you know, everybody's used to me being, oh, yeah. and I was just like, mm -hmm. hey, I'm okay. Like, that's all I can say. And sometimes it's okay to just say you're just okay, because that was just the real God to honest truth. But so reference zero one, going to go in with mink. Um, you know, it's like my house is messed up. So after I just got over eventually, and I'm not going to lie, it wasn't immediately. It was probably like a good two months. Once I just kind of, you know, day by day, I felt a little bit better. The second time it flooded, I was able to stay at home. They just ripped up the flooring. The back bedroom furniture is in my family room. So that's amazing. No, it's not. <laughs> um, but I can stay here. You know, it, it, it wasn't as much damage, but it just was. And the first time my insurance took care of it, the second time I was just like, I can't even file an insurance claim because it's less than 90 days away. I don't want to be dropped you know, by my insurance. And it was just a really difficult situation. And it's just like, I felt like, you know, why can't I have a nice home? Like it's always some drama, you know, some outside drama with where I live because of just the older infrastructure of the city, um, just living in a condo building when people don't do right above you. You know, it's just been one of those things. The only thing reason I haven't cried is because like super cried because the area where I live, like my property value went up a hundred thousand dollars. I had a over a hundred thousand dollars of equity. So that'll make you be like, okay. But still at the same time, you know, you want to feel like your home is nice. You don't want to be embarrassed to have people in. You don't always want to be explaining stuff like this happened, this happened. So once I got over it, I was just like, people were like, well, what are you going to do? I'm like, well, I'm not going to fix anything until I make sure that the city has done their part because I just can't keep investing money in it, something, and it just go by the wayside. You know what I mean? So, but I say all this to say, like, at the end of the day, like, the situation sucks so bad. BK Beauty 203. But at the end of the day, I feel so blessed. Like, I have a job. I'm able to record videos for you guys. I'm able to even just purchase the makeup I want. I mean, I started making money on YouTube, which is great. But, you know, it's just not enough. But I'm saying I haven't skipped a beat necessarily. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't travel like I used to because of the pandemic. I don't go anywhere. I, you know, I go home and go to work. Me going somewhere, it's like, oh, I went to Costco today. You know what I mean? Um, but, you know, I just have the outlook like at the end of the day, this is really called pretty, but it's very sparkly. So since it's so much uh, glitter in it, I'm going to grab my all-nighter spray. I just... You know, at the end of the day, I just, I really count my blessings. Like every night I say, thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for 
blessing me. Thank you, Jesus, for keeping me healthy. You know, most of you guys know I'm a pharmacist for a major retail um, drugstore. And, you know, I have not been sick. I've had co-workers that have been sick. I had a sinus infection. But when I got the sinus infection, I, like, I knew I didn't have coronavirus. I was like, yeah, this is straight up sinuses. You know, I just had no doubt in my mind about it. But I've had technicians that have been sick, and they're okay. But I've known people who've been in the hospital, and they're okay. But we really had to pray, you know, to make sure they came off that ventilator. And it's just so scary. And I just feel, like I said, I feel blessed. So as far, you know, I think like sometimes we just have to count our blessings. We get so focused on what's not happening for us at the moment that sometimes we get lost and we can't really figure out what the big picture is. So, you know, for my reflections of 2020, what I have really loved, um, you know, um, I have been able to try, you know, take care of myself. You know, I need to do better. <laughs> Me and the wine have become like good friends this year. That's kind of like a bad thing, but um, I know like what I did, like get ready with me in the middle of the year, you know, I had like all these expectations for my channel. Like I wanted to put all this energy into my channel because, you know, I was like, okay, I'm not going to have as many things to do because I can't go anywhere. I can't travel anywhere. I'm not going to be running out to eat on the weekends with my friends and things of that nature, you know, in the summertime, that was a little bit easier, but that is cold. I live in Chicago. Like, some of them pies, I'm like, mm, I'm good on that. Like, they got people dining on Laura Wacker. I'm like, mmm. Nope. I'll wait. I'll do carry out. Not for me. You know? Um, <laughs> but I just, that's pretty color. Really pretty. But I, went, I thought I was going to have all this time for my channel and like in the middle of the year, I didn't, but towards the end, I did. And my channel has seen a lot of growth, so I'm really thankful for all the subscribers I've gained. Sonya J. Flat Definer, I'm gonna go in with Lavish. This has a kind of a greeny vibe to it, too. But, like, I'm just so thrilled that I, you know, I hit 2,000 subscribers. I'm still growing consistently. Um, I've been able to improve my video quality. I'm still working on it, guys. You know, it's not that I don't notice. And I mean, some of the criticism you guys have given me has been great because, you know, it, like it lit a fire. Like I need to fix this or, you know, I notice it, but I need, just need to do better. You know, you notice I don't do like the disappearing act anymore. So I got like a new tripod and that has really helped um, for... So I don't like, cause I just couldn't position the mirror any higher. I, I just couldn't like, it, it couldn't go any higher. This is really pretty. Um, let's see, I need to clean up underneath my eyes. I have a little bit of fallout. It's not a bad thing. So like towards the end of the year, I felt like my channel has just gotten really a lot more traction. Um, I mean, there have been some great releases to review. But most importantly, like, I've really made, like, I've found a community within the YouTube community. Like, you know, sometimes I feel like people would know me or when I try to make friends with people, it would just be like, okay, you know. But I really feel like right now I'm at the point where I definitely have some genuine friendships with people. Um, everybody has just been so nice to me and so kind to me within this community. I mean... I just, like, I can't say thank you enough. I'm going to go in with this Fenty Beauty um, Hydrating Primer because um, I'm going to use their new pressed powder foundation. And so, I mean, now I, I like, I get, I interact so much with Rupi Minhas and I interact a lot with Eileen or Aileen, excuse me. Uh, from A Merch Beauty. You guys should check them out. Like Kara and Yachty, like we're like the three musketeers. We talk all night, all day. <laughs> Text. Let me tell you, 
You think I'm bad that I have enabled you the guys to make some purchases? Like, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. The three of us together, we are terrible. Like, <laughs> we're like, what did you get? Well, what did you get? Well, I want that now. I'm going to go and buy that. But we talk about so much, like personal, like, I feel like we're really um, blossoming some true friendships. So I'm really thankful for them. And, you know, I feel like they make me better YouTubers because there's like so much on their game. They started their channels during the pandemic, which was like a great time to kind of start your channel because people need something to do. They have put so much work into it. And I'm like, and Kara's just like the tech person. I'm like, what do I need to do? How do I do this? So that it's just been so great. Like, um, Monique Jones also has been very kind. She goes by Jones Girl. She has a great channel. She does a lot of lives. Like, I don't stop by as much as I need to, but girl, you're doing the thing. So it's just been great to see a lot of creators just really thrive during this time period where you just think like people would be not really thriving at the, you know, basically. So I've just been really thankful and I don't want to make this too long because y'all know I'm low winded and y'all be here for an hour and I'll be mad at myself when I edit. Putting a little bit more of that primer on. I let it sit in for a second while I was chatting and trying to figure out where my concealers are but it has a matte finish. I really liked it when I tried it on the other day but just want to add a little extra layer. Of moisture so I'm gonna go in with the 370 concealer and just do some spot concealing um and yeah I just feel like at the end of the day like yeah 2020 was a wreck it was a shit show very much so but it wasn't all bad and my 4d kabuki brush by Sigma and I'm just gonna blend out that concealer so I just want us to be thankful. Keep in mind, count your blessings because, you know, as bad as we think things are, that's just, it can be always be worse, unfortunately. Always be worse. And if you're going through a rough time right now, my heart goes out to you. I am thinking about you. And just know that this too shall pass, even though it is really hard to kind of come to that realization sometimes i'm gonna go in 350. i really like this artist couture palette it looks really nice and i'm just gonna dab a little right there where i'm a little dark sometimes just get that little line right there and blend this out but that's all I really wanted to say. Like, I've just really enjoyed the direction my channel is going in. I, I have a lot of hope for 2021. I'm still saying a lot of prayers for 2021. I'm pleased, like, please let these two Democratic candidates win in Georgia because we just need it. It's time for a change. This fool, he won't even sign this bill. The government's about to shut down again. I hope it doesn't. I hope they have rectified it by the time this video goes live, but it's crazy. So this is the 370 Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Matte Powder Foundation. It's a soft matte, so it's buildable. It's supposed to be medium coverage. I'm just going to go in with my brush. You get like a, you know, a more airbrush, lighter effect with the brush versus using the sponge so I want the, the lighter effect so just really wanted to I, I filmed with this last night my first impressions so I wanted to go back in with it today and see how we like it And my skin type is dry, dry, and more dry. <laughs> that is my skin type, honey. Dry, dry, and more dry. <laughs> Makes no sense. But it's been doing pretty well this year. I've been 
using my Paul Nassif MD hydrating serum that has hyaluronic acid in it, but it's just like the way that serum is made, it's so lush on my skin. Not greasy, but thick, but it actually absorbs into the skin. So this is looking nice. Now it's time to add some color into the face because we are looking a little flat. All right, so the skin is looking good. I do, like I said, I just feel like we're looking a little flat. We need a little color. So I'm going to go in with the Gucci bronzer. This has definitely been a favorite of 2020. And I'm just taking my Red First Small Angle Brush. This is the 04 brush. It's actually really nice for... Um, more precise placement of bronzer. See, I'm not, like I said, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not doing too much. But I just wanted to send some positive vibes your way for the new year. Like, whew, you know, you take things for granted, you know, like, oh, I can see that family number another day. You can do this another day. And like, whoo, everything just really ceased in the sense in 2020. It was like, oh, okay. That's what, that's what we're doing, huh? Like, God told us to sit still. So I'm going to go in with this Jouer um, Blush Duo. It's in Cherish Me, and Tr Cherish Me and Treasure Me. It's a passion duo. The colors are actually really beautiful. I do have to be a tiny bit careful because... If I don't, it can be a little too dark. So I'm going to take the orangey side and put it on as a blush. So like I said, it's really pretty, but if I'm not careful, it can go the opposite way for you, girl. <laughs> and I'm just going to kind of bring that up. And let's see. Um, I'm going to pop on my lashes real quick. I'm going to use the Velour Lash and Go. All right, so I put my lashes on, put my liner on. I want to do a little bit more highlighter on my face. It looks good, but it's matte, to be honest. And you know I have dry skin. It's I like this foundation, but I'm just still trying to figure out, is it totally for me? Because... So this is a Juvia's Place. This is the Heroin Glow 1. And I'm just going to give myself a little bit more glow to the skin. Especially since I'm looking so matte. And I'm going to use a dewy or spray. Matte wouldn't look bad, but I'm just concerned I look dry. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be dry looking crusty. I don't want my skin to look like it has a little life, you know. So it's not pulling on any dry spots. I don't have any patches. It blended out great. It's just that I don't want to be looking at you. I need to be a little doer, you know. So I found myself some earrings also. I added that highlighter on. My locks are starting to dry. Let's go ahead. And add this on. This is the Fenty Beauty Underrated. I thought this looked cute because it would match my sweater. And we're basically done. Like I said, I didn't want to hold you all day. It's probably still a little long for me. <laughs> but I just really wanted to come and say thank you. And keep your head up, honey. Because this too shall pass. If you're wondering, this is from Christmas. This is this year, 2020. So, if you want it, grab it before it's gone. Alright. This eyeshadow palette, bomb. Hmm. Mm-hmm. This look is cute. I ain't got no place to go. <laughs> I'm just going to go in with the Dewey Set by Anastasia. 
And now we're gonna let it dry. <laughs> All right, so this is the final look. I think it looks really, really cute. So I just really, like I said, I wanted to come on, tell you my thoughts of positivity, what I've had, what I've experienced, just kind of short throughout the year, you know, without so much detail. And just let you know that even though we are kind of feeling down in the dumps about what has happened this year, we still have so much to be thankful for. So always count your blessings. I just wanted to let you know that I am thankful for you guys always tuning into my videos. It means so much. All the comments, all the likes, the subscriptions, the tags on Instagram. And I look forward to getting to know some of you guys better in the year of 2021. I hope everybody has a safe holiday. Be healthy. Um, prosperous, manifest, whatever you want in 2021, you know? So with that being said, let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed this video. What are you thankful for? And give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because you know I would love to have you here at my little makeup family. And with that being said, you already know what time it is. It's time for the chat dance. Hey, we gotta be hyped. Look, it's the end of 2020. Hey, mm. Chance, hey, 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 chance. We survived 2020. Chance, mm, 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 chance. We survived 2020. All right, y'all. <laughs> so, happy new year. Bye.